Friend, I'm sorry. Could you help me buy these wipes? I'm about one dollar short. No, I have no money to spare. Sorry. Excuse me, sir. Could you help me with about a dollar to complete these towels? I only have the money I need for my purchases. Excuse me. Could you help me buy these wipes? I'm about one dollar short. I'm sorry, but I don't have any cash right now. Well, thank you. Friend, could you lend me a coin to complete these wipes for my baby? I can help you, sir. It's just that I don't have... What? How much do you need? Are you serious, but... Look. You sure? One dollar, there you go. Thank you very much, dude. What was your name? Luis. Luis, look, I give it back to you. This is what I'm doing, Luis. It's a social experiment. Oh, right. You are going to get scared, right? No, don't get scared. This is a social experiment. I am here to, well, to see the good heart of the people. And wow, sorry, sorry if I interrupted your work. Really, I don't mean to. But I'm looking for kindness, and I asked several people and they told me no. And you told me yes, without thinking, without hesitation. And one dollar, that's what you have in your bag. And how long have you been working here? What time did you come in? In the morning. In the morning? I understand, it's already past noon. And what time do you leave work? In about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Listen. I would really like to talk to you. For your good heart, I want to reward you for what I say is, may I? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I'm going to wait for you outside. I'll have some surprises prepared for you. Okay, thanks. Hello, Luis. Thanks for coming. It's good to see you're off work. Hey, I told you I had some surprises in store for you, but first, I wanted to ask you why you decided to help me. If you don't know me, we're not friends or anything. Well, I know how it is, sir. Uh, sometimes, even if you get up early and try hard, they don't even help us with a coin. That's why, when I have the opportunity, I help as best I can. And today it was your turn, my dear Luis. Hey, but do they let you work like this in this outfit? Well, the truth is that I have only been here for two weeks. Two weeks you have been working here? Yes, and the manager is doing me the favor of letting me work. It's just that I'm not from here. Ah, and where are you from? I come from Kodemak, Chihuahua. Please, tell me. In Chihuahua, who did you live with, or did you live with your family, or what? I lived there with my girlfriend. With your girlfriend? Yes, my girlfriend. And you brought her with you here? No, 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 it's just that I... I mean, my girlfriend and I were about to have a baby. How nice, and what happened? Well, about a year and a half ago, she passed away. Don't tell me that. Don't tell me. Forgive me. I'm sorry. Really. I'm sorry. I Nothing didn't... Happens. I didn't worry. knew. No, it's okay. Well, these things happen. What happened? What happened with your girlfriend? Well, uh, it was an accident. A car accident. We were driving. Uh, While well, I was driving, right? And there I was living with her. With her and her mother, my mother-in-law. And when that happened, my mother-in-law told me that I could not be there with her anymore and I had to go and... Yeah. Let's do the following. Let's recapitulate. I mean, you were with your partner. You were driving a car. You had an accident. Your girlfriend unfortunately passes away. You were living with your mother-in-law, together with your girlfriend. Did your mother-in-law kick you out of the house? Yes, well, I was driving and quite... You can't control these things. Now she takes you out of that house? And what happened? You couldn't be with her anymore? No, I couldn't be with her anymore. How long have you been here in the city? I've been here for a year and a half. A year and a half? And then you decided to work as a packer? Yes, I also know how to do other things. I used to do the maintenance of the house. I know plumbing, electrical, well right now I came here because it is close to the room I am renting. Oh, you rent a room here? Yes, I am renting a room around the corner. Well, as soon as I get back to work, I will... You will do very well. You will do very, very well. The person above says it and I say it, everyone says it. Because people with a good heart, they will do very well. People who decide to help without knowing the people, do very well. And you? Without knowing me, you offered me a dollar to buy some towels that I really didn't need. I explained it to you a little while ago. Hey, and regarding your clothes, I see you don't bring the outfit like all the other packers. 
What's up with that? Well, no, I've only been working for two weeks here in the in the store. And the manager is doing me the favor of letting me work like this so that I can get a little more money so I'm going to buy my clothes. How about if I give you your outfit as a gift? Let's go inside. And we'll buy you what you need for. Thanks a lot, boss. We'll pick out a shirt, a pair of pants, so you can get to work. You think so? Thanks a lot. Do you have time? Yes. He came out and look at how he looked, a real stud. Well, my dear Luis, did you like it? Well, thank you very much. Now I can, I can to work as I should. You did very well, my dear Luis. And now, yes, let's get to work. Really, I am very happy that you helped me with that dollar. Because nobody wanted to help me and you said yes without knowing me. Thank you very much. And look how much you took. And it's not over yet. Thank you for the opportunity. What do you plan to work? What do you plan to do? Well, right now, as I said, I'm living around the corner and I've seen some ads on the street asking for work and I've been calling, but the truth is that I still can't find a job, but I plan to work every day. And the truth is that I'd like to save some money because I'd like to continue with school. When I live with my girlfriend, I've been studying architecture I made a lot of progress in the study, but I had to give it up. Architecture? Wow. Listen, Luis, but before going on, tell me, please, your mother-in-law, you never saw her again? No, never. They stayed there. And I lost all contact with them. Well, before I had plans to see her come, even my mother-in-law, my girlfriend wanted her to be here, together with my baby girl. Well, the truth is that I already had You had plans with them? Big plans? Yes, I already had everything here. Even the stroller, I already had everything here. Crib, toys, clothes. You had everything for your baby? Everything. It really breaks my heart to hear all that, my dear Luis. It really does. You are a great person, and... I am very surprised that people like you have these things happen to them. Well, we do not wish them to anyone. To anyone. So, the situation is bad and let me reward you. Look, Luis, this notebook I am going to give you, inside it, has many pages and brings many dreams, which I want you to fulfill with that. With that study that you left unfinished back where you lived. I am going to pay you a scholarship so that you can go to school for six months. To that architecture degree that you need so much. Take it. And I want that the next time we meet again. I want you to have it full of everything you have written, of your projects, of all those dreams that are about to be fulfilled. Thank you very much, really, thank you. Now I have another surprise for you. I know you are very surprised, but let's go over there. Well, my dear Luis, this other little box that is here is for you. I give it to you. Open it, together with the notebook full of illusions. I'll take care of it if you want. Open it and notice, please, what's inside. What is it? Some little eggs. Some little eggs, exactly. Which I want you to open one by one and be surprised together with me. What do you think? Yes. Shall I take care of it for you? It's for me? Everything is for you. No. Yes. But... Really, believe me. Open it. Open them all. No. I just can't believe it, really. Thank you very much. Easy, easy, Luis. All this is for you, and there is more below. There is more. Open it. Man, really, it's too much, thank you. With this, I'm going to be able to...
With this, I will be able to pay at least five months of the room. Of course you can. And there's still more down there. Open it. Just look, what do you think? This is yours, take it. Keep it in your hands. Thank you very much. No thanks to you. Thank you, thank you very, very much, look. really. Thanks to you for having helped me with that dollar that I really didn't need it. No, this is something... Incredible, isn't it? Yes, it's something I would never have imagined, really. Thank you very much. This is where we realize the empathy of people. This is where we realize the good heart. And you have it. You have it in here. So take good care of it. I also give you a notebook full of illusions. Thank you very much. 